Welcome to Azure Simplified. My name is Shahid Jodhri, and in this video series, you'll learn about all things Azure. This particular intro teaser video will give you a sneak peek of what's to come next. But first, what is the cloud? Is it just another server? Isn't it just someone else's computer? Well, not quite. Let's talk about what makes the cloud the cloud. First of all, there's scalability. If you have just one computer underneath your desk, there are only so many customers you can serve. Even if you have a series of servers that you have in your office, you can't quite scale to the level of the cloud. With Azure Cloud Services, you can scale as much as you need and then scale back when you don't need that many resources. Next, there's security. There are new security threats all around us every day. With Azure Cloud Services, you can have the latest security patches without having to worry about them and ongoing threat protection as well. And then there's high availability. You can't keep up with demand if you have a lot of customers hitting your cloud services, your website, or your app. But with redundancy using different Azure cloud services across multiple regions, you can make sure that your app is always available. And finally, there's cost savings. If you start adding new servers to your environment that you have today, that's going to cost you a lot of money. And when you stop needing those extra services or when you need to upgrade, you can no longer get rid of those machines at the same cost. With Azure Cloud Services, you can scale up and down as needed, which will result in more cost savings. Let's talk about the different types of cloud models that are available. You may be familiar with on-prem environments where you have different servers on premises. In such a situation, you are in charge of everything. You manage the apps and data on top of everything. You manage the runtime and OS and everything in between, such as the middleware. And then you maintain the virtual machines, the physical machines, networking and the hardware storage and everything else. With IaaS or infrastructure as a service, you can give up some of that control to Microsoft. You still control the apps and data. You manage the runtime in OS, but you let Azure handle the virtual machines and networking. Finally, there's PaaS or platform as a service. In this case, you only have to worry about the apps and data. You let Azure worry about the runtime and the OS and also the VMs, networking, everything below it. This can come in handy when you have a web app you're developing and you just need to develop the code and quickly deploy it to the cloud without having to worry about anything else but the application code. Well, there's also SaaS or software as a service. Uh, this could be a tool like Power BI where everything is installed in the cloud for you and all you have to do is log in and take advantage of the software that's provided for you. You can also become a SaaS provider yourself by serving your cloud apps to your customers. You may notice on the left, there is an item called hybrid and hybrid environment is a combination of on-prem and cloud where you might want to create a virtual network to combine your on-prem environment with your cloud environment. In this short list, you see Azure offers everything from AI and machine learning down to database and DevOps. But wait, there's more. These are a handful of categories that are available in Azure today. Just by looking at one particular category, AI and machine learning, you'll see there are a lot of topics available within there. This video series is not aimed to replace the official Azure documentation or learning material. Rather, it will complement what's available out there from Microsoft so that you have a place to get started. Now here's a quick sneak peek of what's up next. In this video series, you'll see beginner material, which will allow you to learn how to use the Azure portal and create a customized cloud resources. At an intermediate level, you'll use the Azure CLI or command line interface to create and deploy resources all from a terminal. This can be from Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Finally, we'll cover more advanced topics 
such as Terraform for IAC or Infrastructure as Code, will you use HCL or HashiCorp language to define your cloud environments. You'll also learn how to use Azure DevOps, which has a family of tools, including CICD pipelines. So stay tuned to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Shahid C, or visit my blog at wakeupandcode.com. Thank you for watching.